Welcome to Turner 6, patch for sports never ends at the buzzer. I'm Jake Turner. Well, folks, i got to tell you right now, anybody see that Giants-Buccaneers game last night? That was amazing. Must see TV. You had to see it to believe it. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers came out to a 17-6 lead on the New York Giants. And not only that, we saw probably one of the best interceptions for a touchdown by cornerback Eric Wright for the Bucs. 60 yards. This guy looks like he was doing dance moves to the end zone. It was crazy. You're thinking this game's over. It's kaput. Goodbye. 24-13 at the half. But, as I said in that preview, do not deny a Manny. Especially when it's Eli Manny, who knows resilience, who knows what it's like to be knocked down and get right back up. 31 for 51. 510 yards. Three touchdowns, three interceptions. Think about this. One touchdown. Three interceptions in the first half. Second, two touchdowns, won the game. Unbelievable. And these were some miraculous throws. He threw a beautiful pass to Victor Cruz on the right side. He threw a great pass to tight end Martellus Bennett. I mean, they just kept going and going. It was amazing. Watching Eli Manning play, is it's just unpredictable. It's like the end to an Hitchcock movie. You don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you can never count out Eli Manning. You just can't, no matter how many interceptions the guy throws. Josh Freeman was pretty good yesterday, 27-42, 243 yards, two touchdowns, had a few picks, happens. Doug Martin, 66 yards. Bottom line is, though, this Giants team just doesn't know how to quit. doesn't matter if they give up over 400 yards of offense. doesn't matter how many times the critics have said, this Giants defense is in trouble, yada, yada, yada. They did this last year, guys. Get it through your thick head here. The Giants are still a good football team. As long as Eli Manning continues to command that offense, I would not count out the New York Giants. And I'm not going to count out the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yes, they gave over, up over 500 yards of passing. Yes, Greg Schiano made a bad move by doing the bull rush at the end of the game. But I actually commend Schiano on that. The bottom line is, you play 60 minutes of football, not 59. It's just that simple. So if they want to go bull rush on you, go. Be my guest. You know, it does not matter. Stop with this, all right? Stop training Greg Schiano like he's the new kid in school. This guy has won games before. He's won bowl games. He knows football. Bottom line, I am not going to sit here and throw Greg Schiano under the bus because he made a, a bold move. I actually commend him on that. Was it a good move? I'm on the fence with it. I'm on the fence with it. It's just that simple. I mean, they just the, the Buccaneers are a team to stay. They're going to be tough. They're going to be competitive. They might not make the playoffs. But they're still going to be dangerous to watch. And just watch out for those Giants. Eli Manning, 510 yards, big-time proof right there. Final score, 41-34. 41-34. I didn't see that Buccaneers scoring 34 points. I didn't see Vincent Jackson getting five receptions for a buck 28 and a touchdown. Did not see that coming. But that's, what, that's why we always say, any given Sunday. Until next time, this is Jake Turner saying, the Patch for Sports Center is at the buzzer. Have a good night.